Dr. Jen, who's taking credit for the baby, <laughs> is back with us. I'm only kidding. Back with us again uh, with a look at a question on your mind. Here it is. How can you tell the difference between a broken bone and a sprain, and when should you go to the ER? That's from That's Joy Kay. It's question. an yes. excellent question. It depends on the body part. Okay, fingers and toes. We tend not to, you know, go too crazy about ordering X-rays because you typically most of the time just buddy tape it and immobilize it there's really not a lot to do uh, the hallmark features of a fracture tend to be what's called ecchymosis so that's a bruise mm -hmm. you know a discoloration of the skin a deformity and that could be either a bump mm -hmm. or something at a right angle um, and pain you also other parts of the body you want to look at the mechanism of injury so anything that happened at high speed or high, velo high velocity or a force if you've heard a snap or pop you know, that obviously is a very common and concerning sign. Could be either a soft tissue injury or a fracture. Uh, obviously, if you can't bear weight, if you can't extend it through the full range of motion, different imaging for a fracture, it's an x-ray. For a soft tissue injury, it's usually an MRI, but it's not your job to be your own doctor. If you have a concern, see someone. All right, your prescription for wellness. All right, sticking on the subject of bone health, some exercises to help boost bone density and again this is just in terms of exercises because there are a lot of other behaviors that are good for our bones weight bearing exercises you guys women listen to me you need to pump iron yes this, um, this is but you, you can also doing it you Jen. can also do things like walking with a weighted vest I've been recommending that for 20 years since I came out of residency uh, really helps that good stress on our on our skeletal system jogging or fast-paced aerobics is also good for our bones remember this is a very active organ system that needs oxygen and blood flow and then quick changes of direction mm -hmm. box jumps you know, you, you don't have to start jumping three feet. You can start with little box jumps, supervised if you're able to. Um, dancing. Dancing mm -hmm. works, but uh, agility is really important. This is, you know, every man or woman, if they live long enough, long enough will suffer osteopenia or osteoporosis. Mm -hmm. So take it seriously, folks. You know she could be a trainer. Oh, no. Yeah. She's a boss. She's, she tries she's to our, play it down. These yeah. little chicken wings. <laughs> oh, them guns. <laughs> boom, boom. I'm working on it. I'm working on you it. You look Push good, us my all. friend. Thank you. In the best way. Thank you. Yes. All right, folks, we'd love to hear from you. So please hit us up on Instagram with all of your medical questions for Dr. Jen at ABC GMA3.